Good morning, it's your boy Ron Big Black Garrett. Um, I put out a little video on Instagram a little while ago and, and Facebook pointing to this video. So whether you're seeing this on IGTV or YouTube, whatever medium you're seeing it in, I felt like it was so important that um, I actually got straight up from my sleep from a shower and came in and did this video, which is why I'm, 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 I'm looking fairly rough this morning. But you know what? You're worth it. So let's get to it. A lot of people that are trying the ketogenic diet, and it's mostly first timers, to be honest. There are some people that are further along in their journey. Um, and, and, and I'm not going to even just limit it to keto, keto either. I'm talking about health journey, all of these other things, you know, whether you're doing paleo or, or really any diet, but I'm sp speaking specifically to keto because keto is a diet. It's not even a diet. It's a way of eating, uh, that when you subtract all of the, the junk that's killing you out of your body, uh, your diet, uh, your daily eating, um, that you begin to heal the body. The body is able to heal itself because it's not having to fight all the nonsense that you're putting in. It's able to really target what's killing you and healing that. And that's what I wanted to address this morning. A lot of you um, have gotten into the habit of looking at someone else dropping weight very quickly and then getting so jealous that because you're not seeing those results, you're wanting to quit what's helping you. I want you to think about what I just said. That makes no sense. Number one, get your eyes off the other person. You need to start just looking in the mirror and focusing on that person. You are worth this journey. You are worth better health. You're not going to have to live with, what if that other person is doing something other than that that's making them drop weight faster? They could be telling you they're just doing one thing. Or they could be. You never know. But the point is, get your mind and your eyes off of them and concentrate on you. What is it doing for your body? Are you being true? Are you being jealous of some, something when you're not truly watching what you're eating? You're getting some extra carbs in there somewhere that's causing you to stall. Uh, I've seen that in a lot of people that I've worked with. And, then, you know, they're, they're stalling. They're eating keto. But then when I start looking at what they eat, I'm like, hey, did you know this had this many carbs in it? Hey, did you know this had wheat in it? Hey, did you know that this had has inflammatory uh, uh, ingredients in it? And they're like, no. And then when they find out, they're like, they're shocked and surprised that they're not dropping any weight and and uh, or dropping fat, not weight. And that's the whole point of keto. Keto is to heal the body and get into a ketogenic state so the body can burn fat for fuel instead of burning carbohydrate and sugar. And that's the most important thing. Number one, before you start thinking about quitting, change that mindset. This is not about simple weight loss. I've, uh, I just put out a meme yesterday about this um, because I was frustrated. Um, this is about healing your body. Listen to what I'm saying. It's about healing your body first and for, foremost. That's more important than weight loss. If I never lose another pound the rest of my life, I'm still 270. Uh, I'm still a big boy. But when I go into the doctor for the first time in 15 to 20 years, I'm healthy. He's so happy with my blood work. I'm happy with my blood work. I have the blood work of a 25-year-old at 270 pounds. You know, for years, I had the blood work of a 90-year-old man. And that's what's important. I feel better. I look better. I, I, you know, I am pretty, you know, but the whole thing is you're being healed from the inside out. You know, we, we've got to get past this thing about weight loss. We've been so taught to hate ourselves because we're not uh, shredded and all of these other things. Hey, and I lived in that world. I was a bodybuilder. I walked around and I judged people for being fat for years. And how ironic was it that when I got fat and couldn't lose the weight, that all of a sudden I had the ability to sympathize with people that were in this struggle. You know, that's part of my journey, though. That's why I do what I do to help as many people as I can. It's because of how I used to judge people, how I used to, uh, I, I couldn't understand or fathom how someone would get fat. All it takes is one episode or, or one period of life for something to happen metabolically for you, your, your life to change. And that's what happened with me. 
um, mind progressed over years. So many of you have taken years and years and years to damage your body to the point to where you can continue to add fat, add fat, add fat. Now you want to drop all of that weight in three weeks, four weeks, a month, or even a year. When really it's about healing your body. Healing the body takes precedence over dropping weight. And dropping weight is not the most important thing. I've been stalled out for the last almost three months between 260 and 270. Yet, I can still see little patches of fat little uh, all over my body that are being gone. That are gone. And even when I don't notice it, my wife notices. I notice it when I'm looking at you on this camera right here. It's happening little by little, even when I'm not progressing that much on the scale. That's why I don't get on the scale anymore. I get on the scale maybe once a month or so. Uh, and the only reason I do that is to make sure that I'm not going up. And if I am going up, I want to make sure that I, I use it as a tool, not as a hammer over my head. I use it as a tool to say, okay, am I getting extra stuff in my diet that I shouldn't be eating? So what it does, it spurs me to start tracking what I'm eating better. It's not a tool for me to beat myself over my head emotionally, and that's what many of you are doing. Get off that freaking scale. You know, sometimes I want to come to your home and just knock you off that scale myself because it's not a good measurement of your success. Um, and even if you're not having the success you think you should be having, realize that the success comes in you living longer. The success comes in you being able to see your kids and your grandkids do things. The success comes in you uh, uh, defying what the doctors have said that you couldn't do, showing them what you can do. I love going to my doctor and saying, hey, man, uh, I, I, my doctor has a good sense of humor. And I say, hey, man, you had me screwed up for years. And here I am now. I'm helping you and some of your staff out to live better and, and because that's what's happening. I just had my sister texted me just a second ago and told me that someone that we love, and I don't even know who it is yet because I haven't been able to talk to her, seeing the progress that she has had, um, and, and she's in that state too where she hasn't lost that much weight on the scale, but she went by someone's house, and but because of her taking her life and her journey into her hands, um, and she's doing it because, you know, some other things too, just like my wife, you know, um, trying to make sure that they're doing the best they can uh, to keep that breast cancer and stuff from coming back. That's another story that we'll address one day. But um, someone saw her journey in our family or someone that we love, and now they want to do it. And that's part two of this whole deal, paying it forward. That's why I do what I do. Um, I, I, a lot of people make a lot of money doing what I do. You know, I'm blessed to be able to do this for free. And even if I ever decide to do this for a business, I'm still going to be doing a lot of pro bono work. And matter of fact, the paying customers will be supporting the non-paying customers if I decide to do that. Uh, I don't see that in my near future. So so those of you that I'm helping, don't worry about that um, because I just love helping people. But, you know, there's something to be said for getting out and, and making an umbrella to be able to help even more people. But um, that's all a whole different story. But my final thing that I just want to address is, hey, you are worth this deal. So hang in there. Take the time to heal your body. If it takes a year, let it take a year. My wife has just now seen the scale move after a couple of months. But she finally started taking it seriously. There was things that was creeping into her diet. And I was warning her of that. And now that she's really watching what's happening in her diet and watching everything that's coming in, she's st finally starting to see the success. And it ain't always in pounds for her. She's really only lost like three pounds lately, but she says, Ron, I'm noticing the fat. My clothes are not fitting as well. You know? And even if they're not, like I said, the health benefits outweigh the cost. You've done everything else. Allow keto to heal your body. Allow keto to change the way that you address food. Um... And all the other things don't matter. So, hey, I love you. I didn't mean to seem sort of preachy this morning, but I, I'm, I'm really, really frustrated. Uh, and I'm glad I am frustrated because it means that I care. I care about you. I care about me. Most of all, I care about our journey and I, because I felt like it was given to me by God. Hey, I love you. God bless you. Peace.